What's up guys, my name is Pete from the Gaming Careers YouTube channel and today we've got another OBS Studio tutorial and we're going to be talking about how you can add a scrolling music ticker into your stream. Now I'm going to be covering how to get the track and artist name from five different music players into OBS. So if you're using Spotify, iTunes, Winamp, Fubar or VLC then those are all covered in today's guide. Now just before we jump into the video, it's worth mentioning that on the Gaming Careers YouTube channel here, we have a few other OBS Studio guides and I'd recommend watching two of them before you watch this if you haven't already. The first one, which you can click up here, is the OBS Settings Guide. So that covers all things like which Twitch server to stream to, what bitrate, what resolution, what frame rate. It's really an in-detail guide covering all the different software options. The second video, which you can now click up here as well, um, covers things like adding scenes and sources into OBS. So things like adding your game, adding your webcam, adding your overlay and adding text. And you kind of need to know how to do all of that before we cover what we do today. If you've finished with all that and you've got all your settings correct, then let's jump into how to add a music scroller into OBS Studio. Now in this video I'll be setting up OBS to track what I am playing with Spotify but if you're using one of the other pieces of software like iTunes, Winamp, Fubar or VLC then it's only one option that needs changing and I'll be showing you exactly how to do that. The first thing you want to do is to head over to the link in the description for the software called Snip. You want to be downloading the latest version of the software which should be the top file in uh, GitHub. So download that and then unzip it with your choice of Compression software, I use 7-zip, but WinRAR should work just as well. You want to be extracting this somewhere that you're going to remember because you're going to need to open this software every time you want to stream. So I'd recommend extracting it to your desktop, but if you have a folder with all of your stream software in it, then you can extract it there as well. But just remember where you've extracted it to. So if we open up the extracted folder, you should see a program called Snip. And when you run this, it should create two new files. One is a text file called Snip and one is a JPEG file which is called snip underscore artwork. Next let's open up the music playing software that we've chosen, so for me that's Spotify but for you it could be iTunes or Winamp or Fubar or VLC. Now it shouldn't really matter which order you open the program in, so if you open snip and then your music player or your music player and then snip it shouldn't really matter but in earlier versions of the software's development you did need to open snip first so I still recommend opening up snip first. I keep a little notepad list of all the things that I need to check before I start my stream to Twitch, so I just write in there that I need to open up Snip before starting to stream. So before we jump into OBS, the first thing we need to do is look at the Snip software settings. If you go down to the taskbar and locate the Snip icon, keep in mind that you might need to click the little arrow to expand all the icons that you're running right now, find the little blue circle which is Snip, right click it and there you can select the music program that you're going to use. So for me that's Spotify. The next thing we want to change is the output format. So if you select set output format this will open up a new window which basically allows us to customize how Snip is going to write our artist, track and album name into our text file. So just to describe how this works basically for the track name it replaces this dollar and T sign with the track name from Spotify, dollar A with the artist name and dollar L with the album name. It's worth noting here that if you're using Spotify like me then the album name actually won't appear in the text file because Spotify doesn't uh, have that but for other software I think iTunes and Winamp both of them will display the album name as well. So for Spotify Snip is going to write the track name then the separator and then the artist name. That all goes into a text file and then we use OBS to read that text file. Snip will then update this text file every time a song changes in Spotify or whichever music program you're using and then OBS can also update what it displays on screen because the text file will have updated too. So in terms of customizing this, if you only want to display the track name and not the artist or the album then you can just remove anything in the separator, artist and album boxes and click save. However, I'm going to hit defaults here to reset it and then I'm going to do the track name without the quotation marks. I'm going to change the separator to a dash and I'm going to add two spaces after the artist name so that it doesn't bump up against each other when it starts scrolling. This is just my personal preference but I think this is what looks best in OBS and on my stream. Feel free to play around with the output format to get exactly what you want for your stream there. 
Okay, time to get into OBS now. But the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have a song playing in your music program of choice. So I'm just gonna start something in Spotify and then we can open up OBS Studio. Make sure that you have the stream preview enabled and then we'll select the scene that we want to add the music scroller to. Within this scene, we want to add a text source. So click the plus icon and go to text. Name it whatever you'd like, but I would recommend calling it now playing or music scroller so you don't forget which source it is. And then we can select the font, font style and font size. Now, just as I covered in the previous video when we looked at scenes and sources, if you want to change the size of your music scroller here, it's really important that you come back and edit the font size and you don't just drag and resize the source within OBS because it starts to scale really badly and starts to look really pixelated because obviously it's text and the font size is what actually does scale it correctly. Once you're happy with the font, font style and font size, the next thing we need to do is to check the read from file box and this is exactly how we tell OBS where to look for this text file that SNP is creating. Click the browse button and locate the snip.txt file and this is located in the same folder that you installed SNP in. Next thing we need to do is select the color uh, that we want the text to be. So for me that is white, but obviously choose the color that suits your stream layout. Here you can select the opacity if you want it to be anything other than 100%, but I'm gonna leave it at 100 for me. You can also add things like a gradient if you want your text to be two-tone and you can add a background and opacity if you want it to sit above a background, which can be quite useful actually if you don't have an overlay that already makes the text pop out. You want the alignment to be set to left because we're gonna be having scrolling text and we need somewhere to align it to and everything else can be left unchecked. So now if we look at our preview, we should have the text of the song playing in OBS and if you go and uh, skip to the next song in Spotify or whatever program you're using, you should see the text update within our preview window. Let's drag it to where we want the music scroller to be. So for me, that's down at the bottom next to this Spotify icon. Once we're happy with the position, let's just try skipping a track and making sure we're still happy with the left alignment. Okay, looking good. So the next thing we want to do is to make our text scroll. What we need to do for that is right click on the text source and select filters. This will open up a new window showing our text. If we click the plus button within the uh, filter window, we can add an effect filter. We want to choose scroll and I'll leave the filter name as scroll just because otherwise anything else would be quite confusing, I think. And here we can set the horizontal speed of our text scroll. So I'd recommend anything between 15 and 20, but it's completely up to you. It can scroll super quick if that's the design that you want for your stream. So now we can see we have our scrolling text. We're nearly there, there's just one more aesthetic change that I want to make. Currently, the text source will change width based on the title and artist name length. So if we swap track to a longer title and longer artist name, you can see that it overruns into other parts of our overlay. Basically, a short track name, an artist will only occupy a small amount of screen space, whereas a long track, an artist name will occupy a much larger amount. To fix this, what we want to do is edit the filter on our scrolling text and set a maximum width that it can occupy. So to jump back into the filter properties, right click in the text source and select filters again. Make sure that you have the scroll effect filter selected and then check the box to limit the width and enter a value for the width that you'd like to set. So for me, that's 350. Now if we go back to the preview window of OBS, we can see that no matter which track we have playing, it always occupies the same amount of space so if it's a short name, it will be repeated. This is why I personally recommend having two spaces after the artist name in SNP. It doesn't bunch together too much on the longer artists. And that's it guys, I hope you have now got some scrolling text of your now playing song from Spotify, iTunes, VLC, FUBAR, or Winamp, that's the last one, uh, within OBS and your stream looks a little bit more aesthetic. If you've enjoyed this video and you've been watching it until now, please do give it a thumbs up because that does help us grow. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the Gaming Careers YouTube channel, maybe have a look around at the kind of videos that we have. We've got quite a good collection now and all of them are helping you get a better stream or a better YouTube channel for your gaming career. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.